What up guys, another Adonis review today. Today I'm going to do Sniper Elite VR. This is of course a VR game uh, that I'm currently playing on the PlayStation 5. It is essentially a story where you're an old vet and you are reliving missions you've had in your life of monument uh in your diary that you wrote and basically each diary entry of the level and you pick it and you kind of play out that memory uh now first off I, i've never played any of the sniper elite games before uh but i've always kind of been a fan of sniping challenges and games so i feel like i would be a fan but i've honestly never heard any review ever uh, or positive. I, I don't know anybody who's... I've never spoken to anybody who's ever mentioned Sniper Elite before and said they liked it, so... Uh, it's never really gauged me to ever try it. But if I wanted to try it, I thought doing it in VR would be the way, best way to do it. Always looking for good VR games to play. Um, and this one's pretty good. I feel like it kind of satisfies exactly the hope that I was hoping to, to scratch. Um... There is a, a good amount of missions. I read somewhere originally that like this game could be beaten in like three to four hours. Um, it's definitely taken me a few times. There's like, I'd say probably like 15 missions maybe around there. Don't hold me to that, but it's somewhere around that point. And normally I try to complete um, a mission a day is kind of what I try. I try not to overload myself when I do VR because it gets me dizzy and throws me off. You know, for a few hours, if I do do that. So, usually I shoot for a mission a day, and I usually expect the mission's going to take, like, 30 minutes around. Uh, so, you know, if you think about 30 minutes a mission to 15 missions, you know, that's definitely probably, like, a 6, 7, 8-hour game, most likely. So, definitely a good amount of time for VR. Uh, I, like I said, I'm pretty happy with the VR game. It's around 5, 6 hours. I think that's kind of the perfect middle zone for at least me. Um to knock it off my list and feel like I got a good amount of time out of it. So definitely a good amount of play value in it. You're definitely getting kind of bang for your buck when it comes to story and whatnot. Um, it does kind of give you a good variety of weaponry. Uh, nothing crazy. You don't have like 50 guns or anything. Uh, but you do have, you know, your standard pistols. You have machine guns. You have your sniper. And you have a shotgun, which to me personally is fucking worthless. I have no idea what they put it in it. You know, if you're in a sniper game where most people are in a far distance, you usually don't get close enough to shotgun somebody. Uh, you know, even the, I feel like the machine guns lack ammo sometimes at close range because you can easily get wrecked. But in regards, it's nice to have their variety, I guess. And they do have a few different versions of, of, Submachine guns and machine guns, and they do have a few different versions of snipers, which I sometimes have the hard time telling a difference beyond the fact that some have more ammo than others. And then they have a few, one or two different versions of handguns as well. So there's a little bit of variety. You get to walk around. Um, usually each map, and there'll be ammo running around, uh, grenades, different types of grenades. And then you'll come across different weapons as you cross each map, usually kind of choose, pick and choose what you want to use as you kind of run through different areas, kill people, and get to the finish line. Uh, first off, we'll just kind of go over graphics. You know, it's a VR game, so typically what you see on screen here doesn't really ever show you exactly what it feels like. Even so, I do feel like it's, it's kind of a fair representation. This doesn't look too bad. Like I said, typically with VR, if it, it has PS3 version quality, it's usually going to look pretty good in VR. Uh, it's kind of the best you can hope for, usually nowadays. Hopefully when PSVR 2 comes out, it'll break that and we'll have like PS4 version of graphics for VR, which would be nice if that will kind of became the standard. But for now, PS3 graphics on a VR game looks pretty good and that's what we're at here. Uh, the mechanics, so I played this with the aim sticks and the aim, sorry, the, 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 the PlayStation Move or whatever sticks. And the aim controller. I will say that I really like... I, I, I've been completely playing with the aim controller lately. Uh, because, you know, if you have a controller that's a gun and it works with it, why not use it? 
Uh, but I will say, using it with the, the move controllers or whatever they're, they're called, it, it's pretty neat. Um, even so, with the PlayStation VR, it's really it kind of loses tracking a lot, so sometimes it can be real janky. But they have put a lot of mechanics into it to kind of use the VR. Like, well, where, you're, you know, you're holding with both hands, or every time you shoot a bullet, having to cock it and recock it. Um, you know, take the bullet out of it, you know, toss the grenade, grenade yourself. Um, you know, just things like that. Like, you, you could, there's a rocket launcher that you can get every now and then. You kind of have to, to, like, load up the rocket launcher and cock it and aim it. So those are kind of neat. Uh, but they are kind of a chore once they get past the novelty, which is nice because when you play it with the aim controller, you don't have to do that anymore. And it kind of recocks itself and, and shit. So... You kind of have both if you want to keep it easy and get past it because it is kind of a nuisance once you've done it a few times it really slows down your game you can just you know remove it or if you like the novelty of it of cocking your weapons and everything when you shoot it you can do that as well so it's nice that it kind of gives you that detail uh the negatives i would really say of course it doesn't have the best you know ps5 graphics so whatever to be expected the biggest real negative that i see and maybe it's case by case and maybe you're PSVR or whatever you have will run better. But the biggest thing that I have is just tracking, um, honestly. Sometimes uh, the gun just starts floating away from me or, you know, you're always constantly sniping, so you're always constantly looking into a scope. And sometimes the gun will kind of run away and it makes it hard to kind of keep it straight. And I'd like to believe that maybe it has something to do with the controllers or, or whatever, or maybe the game, but... I don't know. Maybe it's just the PSVR. Who knows? Right? Or maybe it's a game. Maybe it's just the tracking shitty. It's hard to tell. Uh, but that's probably the biggest negative. The story's also, you know, it seems like a cool concept, but it's not something I, I really got too deep into. Kind of could care less at sometimes, but, you know, it's still pretty good for what you have, especially in VR. So overall, it's a pretty good game. Definitely for VR, I definitely think it's worth getting if you like, you know, kind of war games and whatnot, or if you want to do like a Call of Duty uh, like World War II style VR game, you know, you can't really beat it. It, it, it does exactly kind of what you expect it to do. Um, I can't recall how much I got this for. Probably around 20 bucks, I'd say. And I'd say probably fair value. Uh, what this should be charged, probably like 15 bucks. Would be, if you see it for 50 bucks, I'd say get it. That's a pretty good deal. Um, you might be able to get 10 bucks for 10 bucks. I, I think that's a stretch, but if you did, that's a really good deal. You should definitely get it if you're thinking about it. Uh, more likely, you're probably going to see it around 20, and I'd say that's the fair. Maybe the most I'd pay for it is 25 max. I see 25 max, maybe, I don't know, 30 would be a stretch. Maybe 34 is pretty pricey. So yeah, I say 20 bucks, go for it if you really want to try it. But, you know, if you can wait, maybe wait for it to be like 15 bucks. Maybe we'll get lucky. Who knows? So that's my review of Sniper Elite VR. Hope that helps you make a decision on it. If it does, let me know how you liked it. Later, guys.